would like you all to answer. So this is more about your background. I would just want to know a little more about you and what you're talking about. So we're going to begin with what is your name and what is your role in the school? Okay, yeah. so I'm first. Okay, uh, my name is Xavier Richardson, and I and I am a music teacher here at Rex Pines. Uh, my heritage is Cuban and Bahamian. So my grandfather is from Cuba. My grandmother is from the Bahamas. Um, on my father's side of the family. So. I'm here representing Cuba today. Thank you. Arrimes. Hola, yo soy Florida Ortiz, una maestra de español, escuela elemental, escuela intermedia. Soy de Puerto Rico. Hello, everyone. I am Miss Marcos. I am the health teacher here at CSUSA Pines, and I am from Central America, Nicaragua. Hi, I'm Sharon Davila. I'm the School Operations Administrator here at Pines, and my background is Peruvian and Brazilian. On the side of my mom, my great, my grandmother, and my grandmother were Brazilians. They migrated to Peru, and then everybody else was born in Peru, so I was born in Peru. Oh. Wow. Thank you. Okay, so I have one question. Where were you born? Were you born in the United States or outside of the United States? Start. Anybody can start? I was born in Peru. I was also born in Nicaragua. You're not in Puerto Rico? I was born down the street in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> parte de Estados Unidos, somos un territorio de Estados Unidos, pero we are in United States per se, en la Florida. I've been here 10 years, and I was in New Jersey for two years. Okay, Mr. Robinson? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've been here all my life. Uh, <laughs> in <Miami>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. That's uh, how many years? That was a trick question, guys. Trick question. question. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Have you always known English or Spanish? And how did you learn? I, when I came to this country, I did not know a word in English. I had to take ESO classes in elementary school. That's how I started learning English. Yeah, same. I did not know um, any English, so I had to learn through my school, the public school systems, ESO classes. Yay, ESO! Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, I learned at school because in Puerto Rico, English is part of the curriculum. So we have from kindergarten to high school, we need to have English. Alright. Uh, for me, it was the other way around. So. Um, <laughs> My, my grandfather, actually being from Cuba, he kind of assimilated, rarely spoke Spanish. So a lot of my learning of the Spanish language came in school. Um, like I can remember back as far as high school being a part of the Spanish club um, in high school, um, always being around Spanish friends and having Spanish friends and round table and even in college just trying to keep my language skills sharp um so yeah all right so i just want to know what was your favorite part of school and what Um, well, actually at that time in Nicaragua and Central America, there was a war going on and my grandfather um, wanted better opportunities for our family instead of being in that war and giving pay to the young boys and things like that. So he just came up with a plan because he was a, a Marine too and um, he used to 
relationship with the Marines. So we had an opportunity to bring the family to the United States and we ended up going to New York first for you better. Uh, well, for me, it was a uh, better opportunity. See, my small plan was from New York City. So that's why we moved to New York City first. Better opportunity for the family and better opportunity for the public. I would say for my, uh, my problem, um, and again, like, this story is one that I don't necessarily know much about. He passed away when I was really young, but from what I did hear, um, he, you know, I guess one of the better opportunity. Um, he ended up meeting my grandmother, um, who had the who was from Bahamas, and then they came to Miami, settled in the Coconut Grove area, and kind of just, you know, built our family from there. So. Thank you. Okay, so what is a Hispanic tradition that you wish to pass down, that your parents have passed down to you? Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> 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 I, I, I just, uh, I don't know, man, I'm starting off with that one. I mean, I, I, I love food, and I think a big part of food comes the, the skill of cooking. So definitely, uh, you know, the, you know, Latin style of cooking, um, you know, Cuban food. I actually teach my my oldest daughter. She's um, 11 years old, and she loves being in the kitchen. She loves experimenting with the herbs and the spices. Her favorite thing to cook are tostones, and um, we even go a little Puerto Rican every now and then, a little Congo, and you know, making things like that and experimenting. So I would definitely say that cooking tradition. Um, for me, funny enough, one of the Hispanic traditions that we love and I still love in my family and I can't have a birthday without a piñata. No! Like, it's just one of those things that it doesn't feel like a, a kid's birthday if we don't have a piñata. So we always make sure we have a piñata in the birthday celebrations. I love it. With me, it's not really Hispanic, but in the South American countries, 99% of the people are Catholic. So my grandmother raised us to go to church every single Sunday. And that's what we like to had to do. Like we took up too long and I said, okay, I'll stop going to church. <laughs> <laughs> and the food, of course, Peruvia the food. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, for me, also the food. And also when we have the family reunions, I remember that my dad he get mad when I don't want to go because he's the one that he need to be the first one when we have family gathering. So that's a tradition that we need to keep. Mm -hmm. And then also my that side, they like to party all the time. <laughs> so <laughs> hey, they yeah, celebrate yeah, yeah, so party, party, party. party. <laughs> They celebrate everything. Everything. So I grew up. My family from my father's side is they are it's a huge family. So that's another thing. Alright, thank you. Okay, what are some things that make a Hispanic culture special? What is something that makes it special? Oh, I think it's just the food. There's so much to talk and say and taste about the Hispanic culture of food. So many different tastes and just the variety of foods and the flavors that you get out of the Hispanic culture. I mean, 100% the food for us. I touch. believe yeah, it's the language. We get the best of both worlds. We speak Spanish and we speak English. Mm -hmm. That's one of them. Um, as a music teacher, I would have to say the music. Oh, um, yes. I can't. Yes. 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 You can't have a good party without, without the music. music. <laughs> you can't, I mean, I listen to everything, but um, like I've traveled to Brazil, I like samba. But if I go to Cuba, then you got salsa, you got merengue, and you got all these bachata. other la bachata. If you go to DR, <laughs> so I mean, it's it's diverse. It's rhythmic, it makes you feel everything, you know, you get your whole body into it, and I think that's, that's, you know, I think that's what makes the music. 
know, we consider no. everybody family. So yeah. no matter what, where is your oh, background or where you're coming from, <laughs> <laughs> you're the cousin. Yeah. Yeah. They're all your cousins. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we are your cousins or so your family. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay, so yeah. our last question is, what is a phrase or saying or an expression that always reminds you of your country? Chimpu, callao! Yo soy boricua, pa' que tú lo sepas. Yo tengo a la reina de la guarachera, a la Emilia, a la Celia Cruz, azúcar! Referring to people, boss! Whoa. Whoa.